Arya's Tale Chapter 3 Narrative Update Players are trapped in the Forest of Echoes. They've been told they need to find and defeat the first floor boss. Eidolon is a level 2 rogue, and he thinks that he and his guild need to level up before seeking and attacking that first floor boss. So they go on a training expedition to the Crossroads of the Elements. Here Eidolon the Elven Rogue is pictured on the right, and you can see an Earth Elemental in the center. So they encountered some Earth Elementals and also a merchant who was being attacked by a band of robbers. Eidolon rushed in to attack the bandits, disregarding any stealth tactics, freaking out his teammates, and then managed to one-shot one of the robbers, so only three remained. Ultimately, his team took out the robbers, saved the merchant, although one of his teammates was killed. This is super tragic in this narrative because they believe dying in the game results in a real-life death due to a neural interface shutdown. So the real-life players in this game are using something like a Neuralink. We resume the story of another character, Arya, whose guild finds the level 1 boss, that is the Dark Dragon Knight pictured at the bottom. Multiple guilds join forces to attack this giant boss. Meanwhile, a guild called the Shield Bearers is at the Lake of Whispers pictured up top. They see a mushroom cloud of dark energy from the forest to their south, and they speculate that it must be the level 1 boss, and they know that they need to clear this boss, so they head that way and see what they can do to help with the fight. They set up a triage station at the edge of the battlefield, and they're able to patch up some of the wounded, and some of those wounded even join forces with them to charge in and attack the boss. Ultimately, they kill the boss. Here is an illustration of the dark energy mushroom cloud in the back. Somehow the dragon knight has turned into a straight up dragon in the AI interpretation at this point. Overall, there were four guilds in the fight and 54 casualties across guilds. Tank's guild gets some positive reputation because the players agree if they weren't there, even more would have been killed. They get some cool rewards like some dragon scales and so forth. Along the way, we encounter this cool dragonborn paladin. This is an example of GPT coming up with a character. This was not planned. Tank's guild was unable to recruit Valor, but they remain on good terms. The episode ends with the opening of a portal where the boss was defeated. Most people assume this portal will lead to level 2, although only one small group charges in. The rest want to go regroup in the town and bury the dead and so forth. What will happen next? Tune in to find out. By the way, reminder that the chat influences this game, so make sure to subscribe and you can also join the Latterly Discord, specifically the gaming channel, if you want to chat more or see some of those pictures.